This is a low fidelity mannequin, as I talked about. So obviously, plastic head, foam body, um, back of the head is flat. So um, obviously, this is not very realistic. Um, if somebody had no arms in a foam body, they have more problems than just needing CPR. So um, when a student learns CPR, the skill of CPR, on something like this, the problem is, since it is such a low level of realism or, or fidelity, they would, for instance, feel for a pulse, and you feel on the neck, which is called the carotid pulse. Well, there's no pulse inside this plastic head. So an instructor would have to be sitting there right with the student and saying, yes, they have a pulse, no, they don't have a pulse, or it's very weak. So this, the student really is looking to the instructor, not using their own clinical judgment to feel for things like that. Um, whereas the difference is when you move to the high fidelity simulator, the instructor can be completely removed from directly over that student. So the students using more critical thinking skills and using um, their own ability to feel for these things because they're not relying on the instructor standing right there. There are some skills that we call low incident skills, meaning it's pretty unlikely they're going to see them out in the clinical setting. And if they do see them, it's pretty rare. So what we've tried to do with the simulation center here is kind of use it to supplement the students' clinical experiences, where we think of things that um, are high risk, meaning if it happens in the clinical setting, it's a really big deal, but they're low incident, meaning it's not going to happen much. So we really want to prepare the student and give them experience of going through it in a controlled setting here. So one of the things we do currently in the program is to take the athletic training students through a simulation where they have to perform CPR. So we have the mannequin is pulseless, lifeless. They need the student to respond by giving breaths and compressions, um, applying an AED, which um, is an automatic external defibrillator, something to shock the heart back into a workable rhythm. Um, so all those are things that a student rarely would be able to perform in the clinical setting um, just because it's such high risk and it doesn't happen. But now they can develop their skills here. All the high fidelity mannequins in our simulation center here are capable of doing lifelike things. For instance, they can all talk and respond to a participant, which is incredible. Um, they all have physiological responses. They all have uh, that includes pulse rates, blood pressure, they can breathe. Um, a student could start an IV on them, so they do have fluids running through the body. They also um, have different things, like their eyes can dilate for some of them. They all have pulse points, so you can check, are, do they, are they breathing, do they have a pulse? Um, they can make different sounds um, other than speaking. We also have a sim mom here, which the athletic training students don't use, but it's a great resource for our nursing students in the college where the sim mom actually can go through a birth. And so the students can be part of delivering a baby.